Hi, I'm so glad you joined us. This is Christy Bridges, author of Wisdom, Better Than Wishing. If you've received this invitation, it's because you have a copy of this book. And you might even have a copy of the journal that goes with it. If you don't have a copy of the journal yet, let me know and we'll work something out. Because starting on the first of the month, we are going to be reading a chapter a day from Wisdom Better Than Wishing and a chapter from the book of Proverbs in the Bible. And then throughout the next month, 31 days, 31 chapters, we'll be coming here to this group to watch videos. I'm going to post videos that will help you hear God, that will help you live regret-free, that will help you enjoy the love that everyone wants, handle difficult people, and share your wisdom wisely. If the Bible has been boring for you in the past, that is totally going to change this month. You know, God doesn't want fans who read all about him, and he doesn't want employees who study the manual but can't wait to clock out. He wants children who read his letters and ask him questions and do things together with him. When I was a kid, I lived in Florida. My grandma lived in Oklahoma. She would write me letters, and they would talk about her day. They would share news of the family. Sometimes she'd send me little gifts. By the time she passed away, I was living in the house where her sister had lived. Now, Grandma loved me dearly, but I didn't get that house because I read her letters. I moved to be closer to her. I sat in her living room listening to Grandpa's stories, and when I had a new recipe for cookies or stew or spaghetti squash or something, I would bring them some. We grew closer through that time together. And then when her sister was killed by the newspaper delivery man, I spent three months cleaning out her sister's house, not because I wanted to live there, but because I knew it hurt grandma to go there. And there were decades of accumulation that needed to be sorted out. Grandma even let me handle the estate sale until she realized I hadn't a clue how much things were worth, and she took some valuable antiques out of my hands. I learned from Grandma as I helped her. That's the kind of relationship God wants. He wants that relationship where we get to know each other, we do things together, and He teaches us. So, my grandparents loved me from the moment I was born. My love for them grew as I got to know them and hung out with them. My trust in them was pretty immediate. They diapered my baby butt. But their trust in me grew as I listened to them and followed their instructions. As I earned their trust, I got more responsibility. And sometimes the weight of that responsibility was pretty heavy. But in the end, I would have taken any weight gladly because they meant so much to me. Now, God is not in an aging body, and he has so much to share with you. Our relationship begins with his letters in the Bible, but it deepens as we come to him in prayer, complimenting him on the cool things he's done, sharing with him our ideas and creations, thanking him, for the talents and relationships he's given us. And when we talk through things in his word or in life that don't make sense to us, it is okay to say, Lord, this doesn't look like you at all. Will you please help me understand what you're trying to get through to me here? Or God, I don't understand why you say things should be done this way. My way seems to work just fine, but Help me to obey you and resist temptation as I learn more about you. And, you know, I'd love to know why it matters to you. Would you tell me? He'll do that. So join us this month in the study of Wisdom Better Than Wishing. We'll read a chapter a day, and then you come back here 
for some videos that'll help you even more. God bless you today. I'll see you later.